Hi, this is Mo Volans for Tuts Plus, and in this series of quick tips, we are looking at subtractive synthesis basics. I'm using the Fab Filter 1, and I'm showing you how to get from a default saw wave patch to several different kinds of patches in just a few moves. This is really just to show you how simple subtractive synthesis is, and that if you have a basic grasp of it, you can get to any sound within a few moves. Um, so this is bass. I'm going to show you a sort of an analog bass sound with one oscillator. It doesn't get any more simple than this, and this is probably only going to take a minute or so. So here we go. Uh, we're going to up the resonance fairly high for this one. I want it quite acidic. It's already sounding good <laughs> in two moves. Now I'm going to use the envelope generator, which is actually already turned up, uh, and we're going to make it decay based, which means that I'm going to turn the sustain down. And I'm going to use the decay to control the sort of the bite. So, and the trick here is balancing the envelope amount, the decay value, and the frequency value. It's not fast enough. Now, you know, how fast you want that is personal taste, but. That's really the basis of the sound. Um, now I'm going to add some glide, a fair bit of it, and quite a bit of noise. And that's about it. Um, I think that we could add a little bit of reverb here, sort of a little bit of room reverb. Let's go with... Uh, a smaller reverb time. I've only got a hall loaded up here, so I'll... just a little bit of ambience sometimes works well. Now, basically, if you what if you've been watching this, I did a lead last time, and it's actually really similar in nature. If we up the uh, the pitch of this. It's not far off, you know, bases, analog bases are not that far away from analog leads in, in uh, nature. Bit more bite on the filter, a little bit of a faster decay time, but in one, two, three, four, five, six moves and turn the reverb off, we're back to saw wave. So it's five moves, realistically, um, and most of these sounds are turning out to be five moves, six moves, and that means that you can move from any sound to any sound in around five or six moves. You probably don't have to go back to default. I sometimes find that you can move between a, a lead to a pad in maybe two moves or three moves, you know. Um, it's just knowing which controls to alter. So get these basic sounds in your head, just stored, tattooed them to the inside of your eyelids and just be able to do them in your sleep and then you can quickly move between them in your head. Okay, hopefully this is helping. If you want to see any more sounds created in this way super quickly, just let me know and I'll try and create them with this synth. Past these initial five, it's going to get interesting. All right, thanks for watching.